You have learned that some songs have repeated parts. Take for example the song Tinikling. This song is an ABA form where the third section is just a repetition of the first section. To avoid writing repeatedly the first section and to shorten the score, composers use repeat marks. In this video, you are going to learn about the different repeat marks in music. So, stay tuned! Songs with repeated parts, like this, are usually written with repeat marks to shorten the score. So from 47 measures, we shorten this score to 31 measures. In this new score, you can see these words or symbols. These are just some of the repeat marks that you need to know in music. Let us discuss them one by one. Fine is an Italian word which means the end of a song. So if you see the word fine, it means the song should end in that part. Da capo al fine or dice al fine means to go back to the beginning up to the word fine. Dal segno or ds is an Italian word which means go back to the part marked by the sign. And that is the sign that you should look out for. Dal segno al fine means to go back to the sign up to the word fine. These bars that you see with dots is called repeat sign. This is to repeat the parts enclosed within these bars. This symbol indicates the first ending of a section and this symbol indicates the second ending after singing the repetition indicated by the repeat sign. For repeat marks number 6 and number 7, the, it comes with a repeat sign within those symbols. Now remember all of these repeat marks because we are going to use them in our examples. Now let us try to apply the different repeat marks that we have learned in the different songs. In the song Tinikling, we can see here that there are repeat signs or this there is a repeat sign within the a section this means that the a section is repeated or is sung twice before we shorten the score of the song by writing different repeat marks let us try to listen to the whole song first It repeats. Okay, so what we're going to do, because the third section is just a repetition of the first section, we are going to delete this section and make sure that the song will still end at the end of the A section. So, 
Since we want our song to end at the end of the A section, we are going to put fine there to show the end of the song. And after singing the B section, so we can go back to the beginning of the song, we are going to put the capo al fine at the end section of the B section. Now, once we play it, it will sound like this. So we have shortened the score of the song by putting the capo al fine and fine. Let's have another example. We wish you a Merry Christmas, which is a very common Christmas song. In We Wish You a Merry Christmas, there are three sections, A, B, and A, where A is just a repetition of the first A that we see here. So, so we are going to delete the third section. The th we are going to make sure that the deleted part will be repeated again in the first A section. And it will end before B will start. So we are going to make sure that the deleted part will be repeated again in the first A section and the song should end at the end of the A section. So we are going to write fine at the end of the A section. Now after B section, our goal is to repeat the A section which will start here. Not here at the very beginning because if we start at the very beginning, we will double V. So we don't want that the we will be doubled. So that's why we start going back not at the beginning of the song but at the second measure. And how do we do that? We will put a sign there to mark that we should repeat here. And at the end of B section, we are going to write dal segno al fine, which means to go back to the sign and end the song in fine. So let's try to listen. Okay, there. So we have shortened the score of the song using fine, segno, and dal segno al fine. Let's have one more example. The Ode to Joy by Beethoven. In Ode to Joy, there are four phrases. First phrase, second phrase, 
third phrase and fourth phrase. Let us try to listen to the song and check which phrases are being repeated. While listening to the song, you may have noticed that the second phrase and the fourth phrase have the same melody. So meaning the fourth phrase is just a repetition of the second phrase. So what we're going to do is that we are going to delete this section or this phrase and make sure that after the third phrase, it goes back to the second phrase. So we are going to write a sign here to make sure that this part will be repeated and dal segno al fine here. Question is, where is the fine? Where is the end? Of course, we want to end our song here. So we are going to write fine there at that section. Okay, so let's try to listen to the song again. Okay, so there you have it. We have already shortened the score of the song. You may also have noticed that these parts of the first phrase and these parts of the, of the second phrase also has the same melody. Their melodies are just being repeated. So what we're going to do, we are going to delete this part of the second phrase. And we make sure that the deleted part will just be repeated in the first phrase, this part, okay? In the first phrase. So we are going to write a repeat sign here. So within these repeat bars, the second phrase will be repeated. If you also have noticed, while we deleted the second phrase, the sign or the segno was also deleted. So we are going to put the segno again there. And it's not yet done. Because when we repeat it again, we will make sure that the first repetition will end here and the second repetition will end here. So we are going to write the first ending here and the second ending here. Let's also write a double bar line to indicate that this is really the pine of the song. So when we play the song, it will sound like this. Okay, so now we have shortened the Ode to Joy using a lot of repeat marks. Dal segno al fine, fine, repeat signs, and the first and second ending marks. So those are just some of the repeat marks that you need to know in music. I hope you have learned something in this lesson. That's it for now. See you in my next video. Bye!